Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to run Sonic CD PC on Windows XP. Um, Sonic CD, the original, came out on the Mega CD or Sega CD in 1993. Um, uh, let's see, this was the third installment to the Sonic the Hedgehog series. This one came before Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which I never knew for a while until just recently. Um, and then... In 1996, three years later, they released Sonic CD for the PC, and um, that ran pretty well on Windows 95, I'm guessing, and um, Windows 98, the older operating systems, and some old older Mac systems, but it does not run on Windows XP unless you patch it, and I'm going to teach you how to patch it. Uh, so, first, let's install first thing you need to do is install Sonic CD PC onto your computer and you're gonna need a disk for that I don't know if you can find it on the internet um I doubt you can but I'm gonna I'm just gonna download or um, take it from the disk I got this disk from a friend and he said it didn't work and he was right until I finally figured out how to do it um, I actually learned it from this other video but the video wasn't very well made so I'm gonna make a better video um, so go to my computer um, you have to insert the disk and I already did that and this should come up Sonic PC and Drive D that's just my disk drive right there and then just double click on it and it'll this thing will pop up um, don't worry about it just click OK and it'll let you install it anyway click install um, go to full don't do minimum because you may need the CD a lot more than... I mean, this is if you didn't have a very big hard drive or you just didn't want to install a lot of stuff on there. Um, I'm just going to do full. No directory found, found. Create directory. Yes, create a directory. And then wait for a while. And then it should do this kind of old installation kind of thing. You know, if you remember... Installing things on Windows 95 and Windows 98 computers. It kind of looks like that. And you may probably think I have such a young voice, so I wouldn't really know about Windows 95 and Windows 98. But those are the computers I actually used a lot before we got XP. My um, parents had a Windows 95 computer, and I'd use that a lot until it broke. And it was, it was fun. And I'd play games like this on it. Okay, almost done, 84%. Uh, I don't know if I can speed this up for the viewers. I'll just wait. You can listen to my... You can listen to me talk. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, yeah, at this part where it's... See where it says AVI, good end, and, like, over here. These are the videos that they're... See, the videos are... They're not too big and and all and stuff like that, but... Yeah, see, this is the opening, the famous Sonic CD opening, the animation, and it just had to download that, and that takes a lot longer than all the other bin files and stuff like that. Oh, and DirectX, it'll always do this on Windows XP, I'm pretty sure. It'll just say, um, yeah, it'll make you do this, just click Don't Send, and it should have installed it to your computer. And you might want to copy this folder to your desktop so you can use it later. So what you want to do is... Actually, this may not work, so just leave this folder open right now. Okay. Um, and you can exit out of this folder. So now, if you go into... My Computer. Local Disk C. And then Sega. See, I have Sonic 3 installed with the computer. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, um, so I have two Sega folders, but here's Sonic CD, and down here, there should be Sonic CD, and if you double click on that, it'll do this, and you can't play it at all, and the same here, so what you want to do, is go onto the internet, I'm using Internet Explorer, um, you might want to use Internet Ex Explorer too, so you can get everything right, um, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Now, go to Google and type in, let's say, it doesn't really matter, just like Sonic 
CD on XP. Oops. Sorry about it. And just hit enter. Sorry for the lag. Oh yeah, and the first thing should be this thing that says Sonic Call slash slash Sonic uh sixteen bit area, stuff like that. Whatever. Um just click on the Sonic Call one. And this website will pop up and it'll have the picture of Sonic the Sonic C D right there. Just go down to download it here and click it. And now follow me very carefully. Actually you just all you have to do is run it. I'll show you. Um, run. Click run. And click run again. Don't worry about the unknown pu publisher thing. And this should come up. It actually does not install this program to your computer. But it just runs it off of the internet or something like that. So, um. Now you have to choose your path. It, all, it sometimes comes with a. I mean, if you don't have Sonic CD installed yet, it won't this won't come up but I'm just gonna browse and show you exactly what to do now go to browse um, go into local disk C and click on Sega Sonic CD and then Sonic CD again and watch this will come up and you click apply patches and then this will come up and you just it says that um some of the yeah see look it says blah 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 already exists but could possibly contain wrong settings replace it with a working version recommended yes of course that's exactly what you want to do then just click exit and exit again and um it should work now and i just did it from that folder that popped up after that let's see if it works while I'm recording Sonic CD let's see um now Sonic CD is lagging a little bit because I'm using a screen recorder and I want um I think it may record the sound also but I'm just gonna exit that so every time you start up Sonic CD it'll It'll change all the colors and everything because Windows XP has a higher resolution and everything, uh, better colors and everything like that than Windows 95 and all that. And if you start up Sonic CD, it'll go back to like Windows 95 kind of mode. Um, now let me show you how to run it from your hard drive again. Do the same exact thing I did earlier. Go to Sega, Sonic CD. Go down to Sonic CD again, and it should work. Thanks for watching.